right. You ready, Ross? <clears throat> All right. Uh, just super proud of our team. Unbelievable, uh, hard fought game. Uh, amazing crowd. Uh, I thought our crowd was the difference in the game tonight. I thought they were just absolutely amazing all the way to the last play and definitely, I think, uh, impacted and affected the game the way a, a great uh, crowd can do. Uh, it's awesome to to be a part of a night game in the Valley again. Uh, awesome to see the 81 team uh, before the game. That was a really cool moment for me to see see a lot of those guys. Uh, and uh, But at the end of the day, man, I mean, we got a long way to go. Um, but you know, just a great job getting the win against a good BC team. Uh, that was the objective somehow, some way. Uh, but just proud of how our guys responded. I mean, just a lot of fight, a lot of heart. Uh, I've seen that all year. I mean, this team's will to win is special. I mean, it's special. Uh, I mean, they've been in position to win every single game. And, uh, you know, even though we haven't certainly played well in a couple of those games, but still in position to win. And that's, that's, again, just the heart and the character of these guys. And tonight, I mean, it was on full display. Uh, we were down 10 or 11 guys, and a bunch of them we lose during the game. And it was, a, it was just a uh, – I mean, it was crazy. Uh, mash unit going on. Um, you know, Putnam uh, couldn't go. He had a bad toe. Uh, we lose Davis, which impacted us on special teams big time. We, we get a – his backup goes in and gets a huge missed assignment. Uh, we were very fortunate that we didn't lose points on that. Um, we lose EJ, we lose Frank, we lose Galloway, we lose Will Taylor, we lose Justin Ross. Uh, Mario couldn't go, we were hopeful he could go. Fred was out again, Joseph's hamstrings. I mean, it was just a, just a crazy, crazy situation and just guys just kept stepping up. Guys kept stepping up. I mean, you think of a guy like Sage Ennis. He hadn't caught a ball since high school. He's a, he was out all last year with injuries and COVID and all that. And then, uh, you know, kids are red shirt freshmen and, and made a huge play. A big first down conversion coming off the goal line. And I don't know how many times we were on the goal line, backed up tonight. Um, but just really proud of our team, you know, plus three in the turnover margin. And we got points off of all the turnovers. And that's that's a huge difference. I mean, we've been really poor in that area this year. Uh, penalties, turnovers, uh, you know, just discipline type things. We've been really, really poor uh, in that area. Um, and, and a lot of missed assignments and fundamentals have cost us. But tonight, we did, we did better in all those areas. Um, so I'm proud of our guys uh, offensively, 438, 200 plus rushing and passing. Um, uh, really proud of, you know, what they did up front. Uh, we had no sacks. Uh, we ain't having a sack. I know they'll put one on the stats, but that's not a sack. That's a that's a uh, end of the game. There, we can't throw the ball away. We have to take the sack. Um, you know, coming to run. Normally, you'd throw that away on the boot, but uh, that's not on the OL. So I'm mean, just really proud of our guys and how they competed and a lot of yards after contact. Uh, so again, you know, it's just great to get Kobe going. Uh, proud of him. He had 200 plus all purpose, 125 rushing. And uh, Mafa, uh, first opportunity for him to play, average 8.3 a carry. DJ had some good tough runs. Um, but we just left a lot out there. I mean, it's just, you know, we could have put that game away about three or four different times. And, you know, we're fortunate. We're very fortunate uh, to overcome it tonight. But they still, they grew up. And I think the confidence of those guys. Uh, really came on and to be able to run the football, that created some things in the passing game. And that's what we've not been able to do. Uh, and so I'm really proud of, of that because we, you know, we were able to get the run game going. It gave us some opportunities in the passing game. But, you know, we missed a touchdown to Bo. We, we, we missed two or three big, big plays. And God, I had four for 111 and probably should have had 200 plus. Uh, so, you know, but we're going to make those. The good thing is we were in position to make those plays. Um, and so we've just got to finish them. And again, a couple other throws to go in there. But just really proud of our guys uh, and how they responded offensively. They're back against the wall defensively, four sacks. Uh, you know, disappointed in the opening drive. Two big play bus, big play bus. And, uh, but other than that, you know, we kept them contained pretty much all night. Um, and uh, the three turnovers are huge. The biggest thing was the field goals kept them in the game. And, you know, that's, that's an area we got to – uh, certainly get better in, but man, 98 and you know Nolan and and you know all those guys, Skowski and, and Balin, 
I thought Xavier Thomas was the best player on the field tonight. Uh, I mean, his presence was unbelievable. I mean, he was he was a problem uh, and just played tough all night. Super proud of him. But the name of the game is the ball and, you know, the turnovers. And we talked a lot about that. You know, we always talk about our plan to win and, uh, you know, winning that margin, uh, the big plays and, and and just, uh, you know, huge play by Mickens, huge play by, by 24. And then uh, to get the ball there at the end, KJ to put it away was was just an awesome, awesome way uh, to finish the game. So uh, not, not beautiful, uh, but man, uh, we needed a win. And we needed a little momentum going into the open date. Uh, and again, with all those guys out and you're, you know, you're shuffling things. Um, I mean, Will Brown, we're down to, you know, our kind of our, our, our emergency punters are, are Will Sweeney and Will Brown. And Will Sweeney couldn't go. He's got a bad ankle. And, uh, you know, Will Brown, man, he went out there, had a heck of a return for us and proud of him. Um, so just a, just a heck of a, heck of a complete effort uh, by all these guys. And, and again, good momentum for us going to the open date. And that's what we needed. We got to, we got to get, we got to get well mentally and physically um, and try to find a way to go get a win on the road. And, See if we can see if we can get some momentum going. But uh, proud of our guys, um, and and again, uh, you got to tip your hat to BC. That's a tough group. Uh, I really like Coach Halfley. I mean, he's just a he's a class guy, and he's building something special there. there ain't no doubt about it. Um, something really special. Uh, so you know, those guys are going to win a bunch of games as they go through the rest of the season. But at the end of the day, uh, today was our day, and just proud of how they responded. You know, because uh, that's what defines you. It's not what happens. It's how you respond to what happens. And you saw the heart of our team tonight. Coach, can you give us Justin Ross's status? <clears throat> they got hit in the head. Him and Galloway both got hit in the head. And, and uh, so they shut them both down. Uh, I thought that um, the third and three call with two minutes left um, didn't go your way, but thought it was a, a gutsy um, call. Yeah. <laughs> That yeah, that, it, it was. I, I love the call. Uh, you know, obviously, you go back and you say, "Well, crap." You know, we got to run the quarterback one more time right there. But, but uh, they did a great job. You know, playing it. Uh, we thought we would. We had. We kind of had a. Uh, we had two guys going. You know, one late guy in the flat, one early guy in the flat. So we, it was a very safe play. We had two guys in the flat. That if they're wide open, you give them the ball. But you come to run. And, uh, you, you know, we, we really felt like we'd been running in the tackles. We, we would be able to break contain right there. So uh, they made a good play. But DJ did a good job of just, you know, I mean, it's frustrating to have to take a sack right there. But that's exactly what, he's, what he has to do in that situation because you, you've got to use the timeouts and, and uh, pump the ball away. So um, tough, tough break and good play by them. What about the uh, speed option on the previous? Yeah, well, that's one we wish we had back. Um, you know that's that's a third and one right there, and, and you know I thought they we thought we could get to the backer, and he he just got us outflanked, and he beat us he, they beat us with speed to the edge, and that's that's one we that's one we'd like to have back, um, but you know that there's there's two or three calls we'd like to have back, but we, there's a bunch of good ones too, uh, you know, and again we made just enough, but uh, these guys they were. They were a little frustrated because you know, they know uh, the opportunities that we had uh, to really put it away, and you know. But we're a growing group, and again, I thought they, I thought they grew a ton tonight. And I, you know, our ability, we can run the football, um, get that going. That that will create other opportunities. I thought DJ grew up tonight. He he took care of the ball. He made some gutsy plays, made a couple of big, big time throws. The third down, uh, the Spokane, the third down to Ngata was a great play. And, you know, and again, we, we had a chance to one we don't finish. You know, we had a chance, we had the drop on about the, I don't know, it was inside the five, I guess. And uh, that was a big time throw right there. So there was a lot of good stuff, but, you know, a lot more we can do. And, and um, but I'm proud of them. We'll, we'll keep improving. Yeah, but how do you think Ray Bird played a center? Oh, he did a good job. Yeah, I think we had one snap. We had one bad snap. We had one bad series where we had the pit, they called us a pick, and then um, I think that we jumped, he jumped offside, and then we had a low snap. Uh, so we kind of had a little bad little. We had to kick field goal right there. Uh, we were in really good first and you know first down and really good scoring position. Uh, but I thought he did a nice job, and I thought Bach did a great job moving him over there. 
you know, putting them out. Uh, you know, at, at, on the field, it looked like he and Walker did a nice job on some double teams. And uh, <clears throat> but proud of Rayburn, proud of him. You know, he's a young player, and that was a big moment for him. So hopefully, that's something he can he can grow from with some confidence. And and same thing with Tate. Uh, you know, sometimes you got to sit a little bit to kind of you know he got off to a rough start, uh, young player and. And, um, you know, and then the Georgia Tech game was just a disaster. Um, but he's, 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 you know, got back in there. And, you know, that's why we started him, you know. So he's, he's got a bright, bright future. But I thought those guys did a heck of a job. Coach Potter had just two attempts coming into this game. And no problem, he goes four for four. I mean, it uh, must be nice to be able to count on him. <laughs> yeah, it was great. You know, I'm proud of our protection. We had one time they got, you know, we got Peyton Page in there. We got Marcus Tate in there at those guards. And those guys did a nice job. I think we had one time where, where I think Maddox got a little forward and they got a little penetration in the gap. But, you know, uh, Jack Maddox, who's from Boston, he's our, he's our uh, he was the captain for the game. He's our snapper, Will Sweeney. I mean, the operation was really good and, uh, and the protection was good, first of all. Uh, but BT, man, you know, to, to not really, he's kind of been on ice, uh, you know, all season this to this point. And to go out there and go four for four, I mean, I mean, just unbelievable. And what, a, what a great confidence for him, too. You know, we had one other one, would have been a long kick, but I just, I just didn't feel good about the field position and, and, and the type of game that we were in at that, that moment. Um, but um, he's, he's a guy we have a lot of confidence in from long range, too. But... And did a great job. He was difference in the game. Yeah, not that I know of. They just said he got hit in the head. So um, that's it. Yeah, I don't know. You know, they think it's his knee. Uh, so uh, we'll we'll find out tomorrow. You know what, what the situation with him is, and that's just it's just man, it's been a it's been a crazy year. You know, some years you just have just unbelievable wacky stuff happen. I mean, you know, not to mention Brzee's out for the year and Tyler Davis is out till November. Shipley's out for several weeks. And it's just, you know, John Williams, Taquan, uh, Dietrich. I mean, it's just been a, it's been an unbelievable year. So our depth is really being challenged. Um, but guys continue to step up and, and that's what we have to do. If you get, guys, if you get Putnam back, do you consider Keeping moving Matt back to left guard and keeping Rayburn at center. Or I, oh, I think all those things. Yeah, I mean Putnam has has actually been very consistent for us. He's he's played well. Uh, we 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 love Putnam uh, for sure. So it's nice that we will have a more experience and and a little bit more experienced options uh, as we you know figure out how we want to go. So we'll we'll look at everything again. We got an open date to to figure out several things that we're going to have to do from a personnel standpoint to to give ourselves a good chance moving forward. Anything you're concerned about long term? No, he should be fine. He's got it's a it's a it's a toe thing. Um but I mean it was black and blue as it can be. It's amazing. He played the whole game last week. It, we didn't even know it. It happened in the just that's who he is. It happened in the first series of the game and he played the whole game. Um uh, and we didn't know anything about it. He never said a word. And I mean, he couldn't even walk hardly on Sunday. Um, I mean, the whole bottom of his foot was black and blue, and so he he um, he paid the price for it this week. But you know, he's just a that's a he's a one of the most committed kids on this team, and a good player, and uh, has been very consistent for us. So um, we'll get him back at some point. Coach, speaking of guys stepping up, uh, Rook and Trey Williams there in the middle. Um, and ET. Yeah, help BC that one point four yards uh, for rush. The Nigerian nightmares, uh, yeah, Rook and ET. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I told ET. I said, "Hey, man, you've been wanting an opportunity. Well, here it is." Uh, and you know, I was proud of those guys. I mean, you know, they're a downhill, I mean, punch you in the mouth offense. That's what they do, you know. Um, and you know, they got three good backs, um, but I thought we did a nice job. They they spit a couple, you know, one the one big run we overran it. Uh, uh, safety missed missed it, and the, and the uh, specter overran it uh, on that one. But other than that, you know, we contained them pretty dang good. You know, all night again, the two big busts right out of the, the gate, uh, you know, led to a touchdown. A uh, couple of penalties, uh, you know, kept some some stuff going. But uh, I'm proud of those guys, man. 
uh, Peyton Page and Et and and Rook and Trey. Trey's out. The Trey's Trey's banged up. He's he's out there just you know rocking and rolling and you know to be able to do a good job like that with with Tyler Davis and Brzee out again that that shows the type of depth that we have and man what great experience for all those guys. I mean unbelievable uh, and it's going to pay big dividends for us. All those guys will be back next year and uh, so. You know, in the long run, it'll be a, a positive force. But in the short term, um, you know, we got to find a way to get it done. Devin, why do you feel like this defense is able to come up in, in such big moments like they have so far this season? That's just who we are. You know, I mean, we're really experienced. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a very experienced group. You know, we've got guys that have played a lot of football on the back end. We've got linebackers that, you know, I mean, that they, they know the game like, like a coach. And they they cover up some things. Uh, they they really do a good job of making the calls and setting the fronts. And you got Nolan on the back. I mean, he's six year guy, um, and you know that's allowed a kid like Makuba. You know, he's he's what a what a special player he is. Uh, he had a couple mistakes tonight, but but you know Nolan's presence uh, has really helped him. You know, Mickens and his development. But it's those backers. And, and, you know, what you see outside. I mean, Miles Murphy, you know, Thomas, KJ, uh, Maskell, Foster. I mean, those are really, really experienced players. We're kind of the opposite of what we are on offense. And uh, so, you know, just very knowledgeable. They're talented. Uh, we've got good depth, or at least we used to have good depth, and, and they're knowledgeable. And so, you know, we, we expected uh, our team to kind of be led defensively this year for sure. And uh, that's exactly how it's been. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But, I, you know, I just – I have to be careful what I say. But I, 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 it was, you know, I mean, it's, a, it, it's, it's frustrating. Um, you know, and some calls go for you, some go against you. But, um, man, I just, you know, it's about all I'm going to say. Coach, there was that one big game by Kobe Pace on the screen pass in the third quarter. Yep. Would you like to see those running backs get more involved in the receiving game? Yeah, sure. We had a couple, you know, we had a big big play by Kobe early. If he'd have kept his feet, it'd have been a bigger one. Um, ball might have been a little bit a little bit out in front of him, made a nice catch on it. So uh, I don't know how many catches he had, but he, he probably had what two or three catches. But but the screen was a great play. And you know, we caught him in man coverage. Um, and uh, you know, that was a a good, really good call at, at that time. And, you know, that's a man coverage type of a play. Uh, it was well blocked and a big, big play for us. But yeah, I mean, we want to get everybody involved. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, what we've had to this point is rhythm and tempo and first downs and just where you can get some things going. And we did that tonight. Lots of the guys touched the ball, but um, definitely, you know, we, we're confident in those guys and hopefully be more opportunities to come. But definitely made a couple of plays tonight that were a big difference for us. Yeah, EJ. Yeah, he was he was off and running, and Frank, you know, he he was gonna try to go, and then when EJ got hurt, he tried to go, but he he couldn't go. He's battling his growing, and um, so EJ EJ's just a man. That kid is a warrior. I mean, he is just they just don't get any tougher than that kid. And he had some huge plays for us, and got you know some nice little rhythm plays, and he just he just couldn't go, you know. So he's been battling. Uh, a uh, little, little knee soreness uh, this week. So he needs it. That kid needs an open date big time. Uh, so it's, I don't need nothing long term or anything like that, but uh, we got to get him back rolling. But really proud of him uh, for stepping up. And I mean, again, you, you <laughs> I mean, it, there goes EJ, there goes Frank, there goes Ross. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Uh, Bo did a great job on, on the chili route, the little out and up um, and uh, you know, wide open. We just missed it. Uh, nice job on the scissors route outside, and we, we didn't have a chance on that one, but um, it's good to see him get out there and get some opportunity as well. With the groin, what, Frank had surgery on? That's the other one. It's a different one. He just, it's not the, it's not the surgical, surgical one. Um, so he'd been battling it all week, and you know, again, wanted to try to go, and we were going to just use him if we needed. He was trying to stay loose, and then when EJ went down, he, he, he went in. He, had, he should have had one play. Should have had a play. Uh, he had the ball on a little back shoulder ball, and uh, DB did a good job of getting it out. But um, 
he didn't last long. Some of those deep balls that DJ is missing, when you get some of those <laughs> matchups, you like, is there something mechanically that's keeping him from hitting, or is it just simply? Yeah, just missing it. Just missing it. You know, I mean, they're just a little off. Uh, but but it'll come. It'll come. It's the same guy that threw for almost 500 against Notre Dame last year. It's in there. Uh, we just get got to got to keep rolling. Uh, and again, it, you know, it would help if we, you know, it's kind of a double edged sword. You know, you're going to miss some. You're not going to make every play. But, you know, we got to make some of those plays for him. Um, and then next, next thing you know, you, you just got to get in a little bit of rhythm. And we missed a few of those tonight. But he, uh, he, he made progress. Again, he made some big plays and took care of the ball and made, made good decisions in the run game, uh, good decisions with his protections. Um, but yeah, we, we we're gonna get where we want to go this year. We we've got to we got to connect on a few more of those. Do you like that a few of those misses that bit of an affront and he's able to come? Yeah, back? yeah, absolutely. You know, and I think that's a again um, being able to get him supported with the run game is huge. Um, I mean, that's a that's a huge, huge, huge aspect, and that's what we haven't been able to do. Um, and uh, so, be able to get the run game going. And not have, I mean, we didn't have a lot of missed assignments. We didn't have a lot of self-inflicted penalties. We had, again, we had the one on uh, uh, Kobe right in the beginning of the game, third and eight, and it's third and thirteen, and we get twelve yards. You know, we're we're a yard short there, um, and so that was one. And then we had one on Rayburn. Uh, but other than that, we really played a clean game. We didn't have. I mean, look back last week, we jumped offside six times on defense. And we end up playing 100 plays because, you know, they weren't getting a lot of points, but that's a lot of snaps. You're extending drives. And um, so we, it was good for us to not do that tonight. And it was good to see that offensively. Um, and that, again, that leads to rhythm and staying on schedule. And, you know, and then no lot, we didn't have a bunch of missed assignments and TFLs and guys unblocked. We targeted well up front. And, uh, and then we ran tough. You know, and once we got a little confidence going, it was, it was a, a good combination. And, and we, we missed a couple, and there's a couple that, like I said, I'd love to have the option back. Um, I'd like to have that one for sure. Uh, probably one of the plays down on the goal line I'd like to have back. Uh, but, you know, all in all, it was a, it was a, a big improvement and, um, you know, something we can, we can grow from. We'll take two or three from Zoom if anybody has any. all the positives tonight what would be your main concerns you know that you're most concerned about going into the bye week uh, injuries health um i mean that's it depth by far you know you know from a that's the number one thing and then uh you know football wise uh you know we just we got to finish some of the plays that are there we, we, we got several plays that that we need to finish um that they're there, and we, we've got to we got to we've got to just continue to develop that uh, uh, that chemistry and get it done. But biggest concern is just the health of our team. We got to do a great job this week, and, and again, you know, good momentum. But but get these guys well mentally and physically, and and uh, and get a good plan and a good head start on Syracuse, um, and then uh, give them give them a few days to. To recuperate and just decompress, and and um, it'll be a little different week because we're going to play on a Friday. So Sunday will be a uh, Sunday will be a Monday practice for us. Um, but the biggest thing is just the health of our guys. Anything else for Coach? Anybody in the room? All right, thank you, Coach. All right, appreciate it. Thank y'all.